Hey guys, we're going to be looking at checking solutions of differential equations in this session. Right, let's get started. So one of the first things you're going to need to know is what is the meaning of a first order differential equation. This is when um, where the only derivative is a first derivative. So if we could think of it as an example as dy dx, that's it's a first order de, or something like x squared dy dx equals 3 that's still still we're only looking at a first order differential equation so first order differential equation means you're going to have dy dx so if you're looking at a second order differential equation that's when you have a second derivative so an example would be looking at something like d squared y dx squared or if I look at another example, you've got d squared y dx equals dy minus dx equals 5. Hold on, I've just realized something here. Sorry, forgot to put the 2 with the dx squared. So as you can see, um, when you have d squared y over dx squared, then that's second order differential equation. If, it's, if it has just dy dx, like in the first example, then it's a first order differential equation. All right, so we're going to move on to checking solutions. So let's get going. So here's an example. Verify that uh, y equals to half x squared is a solution of the differential equation dy over dx minus x equals 0. So I guess the first thing we need to do is figure out what dy dx is. So this is our equation, y equals half x squared. So with this in mind, we can work out dy dx, which is equal to x. Now what we do is substitute dy dx minus x and prove that it equals to 0. So we're going to substitute dy dx here. So let's just write it down first. So this is what they've asked us to do. But we know that dy dx is equal to x. And of course, x minus x is equal to 0. So we verified it that it is a solution to the differential equation in the pink box. OK, the next one we're going to look at a slightly complicated one. In this one of us, show that y equals to e of x cos x satisfies the differential equation d squared y over dx squared minus 2dy dx plus 2y equals to 0. So obviously th this is um, a second order differential equation. And as usual, we need to work out what dy dx is. And then we need to differentiate it again to work out um, d2y over dx squared. So we know that y is equal to e of x, e to the power of x cos x. Now this is actually a product rule, just in case you've forgotten, um, because it's actually a product of two functions. So we know that f of x is equal to e of x, which means f dash of x equals e of x also. g of x is equal to cos x, and g dash of x would equal negative sign x. So, what we have right now is dy dx is equal to f dash g plus g dash f. So, simplifying this, we're going to get e of x cos x minus e of x sine x. So, now we have dy over dx. We need to actually work out the differentiation of this. I'm sorry, guys, I'm out of space here. I'm going to work on the next slide. So we have dy dx, which equals e of x cos x minus e of x sin x. Now what I'm going to do is, um, I mean, I can already see that it, this is going to be quite a big, a massive product rule differentiation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to have e of x bracket cos x minus sin x. So what I've done is I've created a product of two functions here. So with this in mind, the purple part being f and the green part being g. So as you can see, it's a product right there. So f of x is equal to e of x, which means f dash of x equals e of x. g of x is cos x minus sine x, which means g dash of x would equal negative sine x minus cos x. So putting this all together, I'm going to get d squared y over dx squared 
equals f dash g plus g dash f. And simplifying this, I'm going to get e of x cos x minus sine x plus e of, sorry, minus sine x minus cos x times e of x. And what you can see here again is that e of x is a common factor. So I'm going to take e of x out. I'm going to have cos x minus sine x minus sine x. Sorry, I went too fast. There we go, fixed it. Minus cos x. So all I've done is I've just taken e of x as a common factor out. Which means I can actually simplify the bracket in, inside with all the cos and sine. And when I simplify it, I get e of x, cos x minus cos x is 0, and I'm going to get negative 2 sine x. So, the second, uh, the d squared y over dx squared would then equal negative 2 e to the power of x sine x. So, now that I actually have all of the components, because I, I was supposed to have dy dx, I was supposed to have d squared y over dx squared, I have all of this, I can go back to the original question and verify the solution. So back in the original question this is what they wanted me to verify and these are all the things that I have d squared y over dx squared I know that it's negative 2 e of x sine x I have dy over dx which was e of x cos x minus e of x sine x and of course I had y y was e of x cos x so now that I have these three elements here, I, all I need to do is substitute it and prove that it equals to zero. So the first part is negative 2ex sine x because this is d squared y over dx squared and that's what I've done here. Now I'm going to do dy dx which is e of x cos x minus e of x sine x. So I have minus 2 multiplied by e of x cos x minus e of x sine x. Of course, I need that around the brackets. That's the green part right there. Now I have plus 2 times 2 times y, and y is equal to e of x cos x. So, what I'm going to do now is basically expand and simplify and prove that equals to 0. So I've got negative 2 e of x sine x. Expanding this little green line here, I'm going to get negative 2 e of x cos x plus 2 e of x sine x and of course the purple part which is 2 e of x cos x and as you can see this the two pinks they cancel out each other and then the two blues cancel out each other to give you a final answer of 0 and basically guys this is how you do um, checking solutions for differential equations you differentiate the function, and then just match it to whatever they're trying to verify. All right? Well, that's all for this session. Thank you for watching.